is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today i have a brand new SummerSlam 2018 thanos custom seth rollins figure So in today's video, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to finally reveal my Thanos or SummerSlam 2018 custom Seth Rollins figure. Here it is in the plastic instead of in the flesh, but uh, I teased it on Instagram. I said, you know, which one do you want to see first? You want to see the purple AJ or you want to see the Thanos Seth Rollins? Everyone wanted to see this, uh, the Thanos Seth Rollins from SummerSlam 2018, and I spent all day yesterday working on it, and this is what I came up with. We're going to take a close look at it right here, guys. So what you can see is that I do have the Elite 37 head scan on there. I made his entrance shirt or uh, vest or whatever you call it as good as I could. Um, this is just some leftover Warbler that I haven't painted yet. I'm going to probably paint that gold or something. But uh, how I made this, it's not completely accurate. The vest is not completely accurate. What we did was I took the Elite 20 Cody Rhodes entrance jacket thingy. If you guys know what I'm talking about, it usually comes down to here. It's got a hoodie on the back. What I did was I cut it up to the waist and then I left the little cape on the back because that's how Seth wore it. That's, uh, you know, more accurate to Thanos and from Avengers Infinity War. So what we did here was I cut it up and then I painted it blue. I added Warbler. I like took off the hoodie with like a Dremel and then I took some Warbler and I added it to the chest, to the sides there to make that more accurate and more, you know, relatable to the actual vest. Again, it's not 100% accurate. You know, if you look at pictures, that you know, on, on the back there's supposed to be an SR logo and these lines on the front aren't accurate, but I took a metallic blue and navy blue, gold and black, painted it up to the uh, most accurate that I could, and then um, on the tights we'll take a look at in just a second here, but I wanted to show you guys what it looked like with the entrance vest on there because it looks so bad, eh? So now that we have done that guys I guess we can go ahead and take off the entrance vest so here is Seth freaking Rollins out of his entrance code guys and uh, you see here we did use the elite 52 as the base uh, I love these old articulation arms the black wrist tape is what he had well they're not wrist tape you know how he wears his uh, workout gauntlet things um, so he he wears those but this is how they looked on the elite 52 so I kept it like that uh, we did throw the elite 37 head scan on there got the hairy chest and stomach going going into the tight right here. I did use Warbler on the belt. So what I did was I molded the belt around and uh, painted it up with the gold trim like he had it. And then I added an extra piece of Warbler over the top like he wore it on that night at SummerSlam. And uh, I know it's not completely accurate, but I got as close as I could. Put the best of my ability in it, and that's what you get right there. I did paint the, ba uh, the belt loops on there, so you do get the belt loops all the way around the belt as well. You got that front design coming down the middle, the two pieces here, and then they come down in black, and then you have these little weird patterns. I don't know why he wore that like that, but that is how it was on the tights. On the sides, we do have the little side panels as well, the one on the right side, and then we have the other one on the left side. Pretty symmetrical. I think I got it uh, as close as I could with uh, the front designs and the side designs, so I'm pretty happy with the way both of those came out. At first, this gray color was a bit dark, so I came in with a lighter gray to make it more accurate. Uh, so the difference, you can actually see the contrast between the two, so I'm pretty proud of that. Going out into the knee pad, we do have the uh, gauntlet side, the infinity gauntlet side with the gold and... Uh, and then we have the gray knee pad. I did paint the SR logo on there because that's actually accurate. If you go back and look at the match and you zoom in on that, guys, there is a slightly off-colored gold SR logo on the knee pad, so that is accurate to that. And then going down, my favorite part of the entire custom, probably everybody else's as well, is the Infinity Gauntlet kick pad that Seth Rollins wore. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is, uh, I did add glitter in it. There is some glittery going on. If you can't tell, the uh, it, it's definitely like it in person if you can't tell on camera. But uh, you can tell the front of the kick pad and the knee pad are like a whitish gr uh, gold. And then the back side is like a more shinier gold like it was on the attire. And then, of course, his right side is completely completely black, but the, uh, the knee pad did have some gray on the face there, so I did add that, but uh, I love the way the kick pad turned out. The gold color really pops off nicely. 
and I love the way it ties into the belt. I'm very uh, happy with the way this custom came out overall. I would love to know your guys' thoughts down below. But uh, now we can add this SummerSlam 2018 custom Seth Rollins to the rest of our custom Seth Rollins collection. You know, we have all of them back here. We have the, of course, SummerSlam 2018. We have our WrestleMania 34 Seth Rollins right there. You can put that Intercontinental title over here. So at WrestleMania, he won the Intercontinental title. And then at SummerSlam, he won the Intercontinental Championship. And then we have the Royal Rumble 2018 Burn It Down Seth Rollins. We are getting this one from Mattel. We may even get the WrestleMania 34 one, but I'm pretty sure, uh, I'm for certain that we're getting this one from Mattel, the Burn It Down. Then we have the Monday Night Rollins attire. And this one, for sure, we're getting from Mattel as well. This is the uh, top lines. Elite, and I believe this one is going to be the Elite 63, so that's kind of disappointing. Hopefully they don't make this uh, Thanos custom Seth Rollins in a Mattel Elite form just because, uh, you know, it's copyright and all that good stuff. So we have uh, the SummerSlam one, and then we have my Fantasy Blue attire, which I have made two of those. Uh, I made one for Steinsenberg, my friend Cody. Made one for him and sent it his way. And then we have my custom fantasy just pink, black, and gray attire to go with all these. So this is my full customs Seth Rollins collection. If you don't count fix-ups and you don't count the uh, 2015, you know, cash-in, paint-up, fix-up, whatever you want to call that, uh, this is my entire custom Seth Rollins Elite Collection. Which one is your guys' favorite? Let me know down below. You know, we got WrestleMania 34, Royal Rumble 2018, Monday Night Rollins, SummerSlam 2018, Fantasy Blue Attire, and then Fantasy Pink, Black, and Gray Attire. Let me know down in the comments section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the Thanos Custom Elite Seth Rollins. If you did, let me know down in the comments section below. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.